He's so cute. Oh, there's my cute puppy dog looking up here. She says, what are you doing paying attention to someone besides me? Look at the camera. My babies made it through the first night. We had heated up some water and put it in a bottle and screwed it really tight and put it in a sock. What? Made sure it wasn't too hot. I'm recording. And uh, laid it in there. And they all snuggled up next to it like it was their mama. And I put the lid on the thing to hold the heat in and put a big blanket on top of it. And checked them every time I woke up in the night because I wake up a lot. I had to change the bottle out one time. And other than that, well, they were fine. They really liked that. And they're eating and drinking now. So so we've had a lot of baby chicks die in the past. And we're just really trying to keep these ones healthy. And why their mamas <clears throat> don't always take care of them. We have a mama outside with two babies that she decided to, at nighttime, go up on the the roosting things, the highest one she could find, and the two babies were down on the ground crying. They couldn't get up there. They were too little. They couldn't fly yet. And she just up there didn't even care about them. So we snatched her up and put them in a cage so we can keep track of them. I hate to have to keep them in a cage, but she won't take care of her babies, and that's what happens with these. Like I said, the mama um, was trampling them and trampled five of them to death. So we got the other five and rescued them. When we let them free range, they disappear one by one until there's no more baby chicks following the mama around anymore. It just... Hard. <laughs>